Hey guys, well, it's time to get to it. I haven't been in here harvesting for three days and we are loaded with vegetables in here. So I'm just gonna get right to it. Um, it might be a few minutes longer today because we've got some things we gotta show you. Okay, hold up, we gotta stop the video. I was gonna do just a harvesting video and once I hit that tomato there that was the biggest one, I have to put it on the scale that we have here and I have to see how big it is. That tomato is called a Hungarian heart. I've never grown them before. Um, and I'm really curious to put it on the scale and actually see how much it weighs. So we're gonna do that right now. So let's just turn on our scale. Hopefully it's okay, it's all set up and ready to go. Here is the size of this thing. I can't even put it in my hand. So I have to, <laughs> just out of sheer curiosity, really see how big this tomato is. One pound, two ounces. Wow, this thing is huge. So I guess you can tell why it's called the Hungarian heart. Kind of looks like a heart, doesn't it? And it puts my brandy wine to shame. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside, you guys. Got my coffee going. So these are my pink brandy wines. Probably can't see that because the sun, the morning sun probably doesn't really show how pink it is, but it is a pink brandy wine. Let's see how much this guy weighs. Twelve ounces, let's say. Let's round her. So the Hungarian heart is by far bigger than the brandy wine. Unbelievable. Probably one of the best, biggest tomatoes I've ever grown. Hungarian heart. And while we're here, might as well look at the rest of the uh, stuff that I grabbed. So I've got my mini little red bell peppers. These are the lunchbox peppers that I was telling you about. So I have a variety of them. I've got yellow and orange and a red mini bell. These here are a pink cherry tomato. Very tasty, very unique. Um, and the longer you leave them on, the pinker they get, which is kind of cool. These are called a white cherry tomato. Even though they have a little bit of a yellowish tint to them, they call them a white cherry tomato. Juicy, not entirely sweet, but really, really refreshing. I really enjoy them. The ones underneath are super sweet. Let me just move these out of the way. These are, as you can tell too, these white cherry tomatoes are actually bigger than the common cherry tomato. Look at the size difference. These little guys here, if I can get them out of here, are called a black strawberry cherry tomato. And they do have little hints of 
of black just around the stem here. Super sweet, really good, really refreshing. These are my indigo rose. We take these, and they are finished when they are an orange on the bottom. We take these and we slice them. We put them on open-faced sandwiches. They're really, really good. And then some of these are just my beef steaks. Just little slicing beef steaks that are ready to sort of, you know, put on your hamburger, that kind of thing. Really good. Kind of that old-fashioned, meaty sort of taste. But the brandy wines and the Hungarian hearts really... Ah, really stole my heart. <laughs> wow. Um, I just wanted to share the size of this, the sheer size of this tomato with you today. Um, I was just going to do a regular harvesting video and I said, no, no, I have to see how much this weighs and share it with you. And of course, we've got our cucumbers that are just, we eat cucumbers every day here now. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you this morning, a really quick harvesting video, um, just because for the sheer fact that I wanted to stop and take a look and see what we had in terms of weight for the tomato. But thanks for being here with me today. If you have any questions, pop them below. Thumbs up and see you soon.